Hi, welcome to the installation of Arch Merch 6.1. It's going to be launched in about nine days. And uh, booting process is the same as 6.0. You can have uh, MBR or you can have UEFI. I hope I pronounced it correctly. So the new boot system. Anyway, um, this will be very uh, similar to what you have seen in the 6.0 version. There are some smaller differences, so I'll show them anyway. The tip of the day, you go to here, resize, wait 3 seconds. Then press Ctrl F for full screen, Ctrl F to get out again. Again to the view, virtual screen, resize to the same size as your system is. And now Ctrl F and VirtualBox knows how big it is. That's that. Now you choose your um, keyboard. As you can see, I fixed it. You see now these letters up there, which is quite nice actually. So we know what we are looking at. Fine. Next, my recommendation. Two days ago, there was a guy who says, oh, I partitioned everything. My, my Windows partition is gone, etc., etc." I give my system the complete Linux and in VirtualBox it doesn't matter really but if on an SSD I take it out that's Windows and I put it back in and that's Linux I do not mix them I do not dual boot neither triple root etc so be aware that that brings some frustration so I'll just say you raise disk everything for Linux or Linux not sure what to say so this is Arch Merch, we are at version 6.0.0 in nine days, like so, 6.1. And there is a difference with the 6.0. Now you can say login automatically, that's one thing, or you can choose to have another password for the root account, administrator account, or not. So I take this one and I'll let it install. Let me take the summary over here, as you know, there's an Arch Merge Hello uh, link on your system and you'll end up here in the Arch Merge Editions. It's going to be a little bit complicated, but once you know how it works, it will be just fine. There are two things happening. There is Arch Merge and that's a fully themed, a fully themed distro. And there is Arch Merged with a D, the D for documentation, the D for development, the D for learning. That is the one for we use to learn. So there are two releases actually, one with a D and the other without a D. If you scroll down, then you see the differences. Arch Merge is the big one. That's the one we're showing now. It's all teamed to have fun, to enjoy three desktops, open box, XFC, i3, two gigabyte of ISO. It has a lot of software in there. It's just meant to select your wallpaper and done. The other one, Arch Merged with a D, is to learn for the website archmerged.com. There we'll learn how to make um, install from on the basis of Arch Merge, which is already something. It's, it's a display, it's a network. There's, there's software in there, but not much. These things are in there. And then you install something else, GNOME, Budgie, Cinnamon, and so on. You build your own system on this Arch base. That's the idea. So that's the difference, and you can read all about it here. There are things you should know. So that without a D, this concerns all Arch Merge editions, so 6.1, 6.0. And you just read along, and there are always, you can pop it open like that. And here are the differences with the 6.0. So what happened? What did we create extra? The main thing is actually the Samba. So you can see and share uh, folders from this computer, from other computers. You can switch and share folders. And that's one of the major things I think we could uh, tell you. And also all the extra software that we installed that we missed, that we that was not good in this case and we added 70 extra playing themes and in xfce there are some there were some mix-up things that were 
actually proprietary in open box and that might confuse people so we got rid of that as well and a menu if you want to make a manual menu remember you can and some small things so this is the place to go to see what happened to your system to 6.1 what did we implement and this is an arch merged with a d 6.1 which is um, slimmed down version but as you can see there is software and it's mostly for convenience to quickly take a look at our hard disk to edit something patch completion stuff that we are going to need during our um, our build and there's already one example written there's also one website of github created so this is phase three take arch merged and put something on it and we can follow this link here and we'll see that it's the wrong link is it okay so you'll see the link later on which will be the proper one yes it is the wrong link okay in the meantime everything is done let's restart done and now we boot from the existing operating system there is a fix for this firmware bug which uh, is easily done just two lines you need, you need to do after installation and it's on the page we just saw down at the bottom the frequent asked questions so here we are we are now at um, we can click it here as well 6.1.0 um, nothing changed for visually nothing changed of course you will recognize everything arch much hello is that site we're just talking about remember to click here not put your password in here just say continue continue and then it'll ask uh, never again this information so this is the website i'll fix the link down there okay um as you know a quick uh, oh sorry that's the set general information from xfc i just wanted to show you quickly that arch merge is indeed three desktops and that's the way how we go to it and one of the things i immediately do when i install this thing i put this here put that there and i give it some more megabytes that's something i do but you don't have to do it and then you get some new wallpapers in then we go to i3 all right mouse click exit log out i3 and we have now the same applies here you can have a wallpaper here give me the next one and so on and so on and so on so everything works windows x forget don't forget it windows x super x and this is the lock key my mistake <laughs> i wanted to l so windows x l not lock and we're back off to the normal session where we started with which is xfce and as a last action there are many things many reasons why you should use 6.1 but one of those is for instance all the lua things will work so out of the box anything with lua will just work what will not work fonts because fonts are always copyrighted and we do not dare to in uh, to get a lawsuit so here it is these things are lua and they just look awesome and use whatever you want as concrete lots out there and enjoy 6.1